let's see what a mess we can find here behind those patches. Hmm. This is a new part. Brand new. Nice. Alright, before we go further, I want to try something stupid here. You see this uh, pressing? It's almost invisible already, but it's still there. It's something like this, but smaller. I had this stupid idea for a while, and I think this is uh, the best opportunity now to test it. And I know how to do it with uh, Jet Matlis technique, with the air chisel, but uh, I want to try something else here. Do you get my stupid idea? I know it's stupid, but it would be great if I could make them out of metal and use the press, but uh, it's gonna take a while to make just one shape and then I will need another one, so let's see if I can do it with this. Here, if I put it like that, I don't know where to position this one, that's why I have this to line them up because they, this one and this one line up perfect. I just cut them together. So this, this, this will give me the exact position. Plus, it's gonna hold these ed edges from going up because if I just do this, even if I find the right place, these are gonna lift all of them. So I'm gonna sandwich them in between these so they don't move. Okay. And now we can go to the press, but we need something more. I cut another one, a little bit smaller than this one, so now I can press them. So the gap is even. Alright, let's see why this is going to happen. Okay. It's going down definitely, but I don't know if the wood is giving or the metal is going down. Okay, let's keep going and we'll see what's going on. It gave a lot. I don't know what. What gave? Well, oh, might have worked. Hmm. Sprung out. Not too bad. Why did it give on this side? Why did it wrinkle here? But it's it's not bad. This we can straighten. Let's see. Hmm. It's not perfect. I mean, it is very smooth. There's no there's no edge. But you know what? I like it. Now we can try do it, doing it in 18 gauge metal. This is, I think this is 20. And I'm looking at our uh, templates here. Actually the wood held, didn't give much. And this one? Oh wow, look, this is like brand new. Hmm, not bad. I'm happy. Don't tell anyone how we did that. Let's keep it as a secret. Don't want anybody to steal our idea, right? Okay, so let's see then how is this gonna work on a 18 gauge metal. I checked more or less on this piece where would I need this. And it's somewhere here. So, let's try. I didn't look close, but... Hey, let's try. You Okay. Let's 
something is breaking. Yeah, not as good as on the 20 gauge, right? Let's see if we can fix that. Still not good. Not that bad actually. Yeah, I think we can use it. Okay, and here is why I wanted it positioned this way because if I bend on this line this flange, so that's gonna come something like that, and then I'm gonna reach here solid metal, somewhat solid metal. I hope it is solid there, and I have enough material here to bend those flanges through here. And now I can keep taking out those patches from there and checking what's behind them. All right, and an hour later, or even more than an hour, I think, it is ridiculous. I prefer to have a car in this condition than a car repaired as this was repaired. It is crazy. It takes, it's taking me more time to undo stuff than to do it the proper way. And it's, <laughs> I'm getting so upset. Why would you just wrap this in uh, metal? Whatever, so uh, I got rid of most of the patches here and I'm uh, debating whether I should take this whole piece out and replace it because we have new, like I said, or just change parts of it. We'll decide later. I just want to keep getting rid of parts here because this here, this is a patch on the inside which I want to remove also and then we're gonna start assessing and seeing what's the best approach here. This is what's going on on the inside. There's a patch from here to here, like I cut it in the middle already and started pulling it out. And there's another patch from here down there that was going on the floor, I just cut it off. So I wanna remove those patches and when we see what's the condition of the original metal inside here and the outside then we're gonna figure out what to do because these are definitely new inertials so we can i'm gonna try and keep those even though they uh, are overlapping the floor so they might need to come out so i can change the floor but the outer seals at least i want to keep as they are without removing them or at least remove them only after I change the floor inside the floor and uh, inner seals so they can keep the strength of the body because now the outer seals are what keeps the strength of the body and this bar that I welded here so if I remove the outer seal then I might lose the geometry here for now I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm okay so we might remove everything from inside but we will keep the outer seal and change the floor, change the inner seal or put back this one. We will see what we're going to do. And only then I can take this one out. But these are plans for too far away. For now, I want to concentrate on this corner here. Even if I repair this area here and stop somewhere here, we will see. We'll see. Let me take out the, pat the patches from the inside now. All right, and all the patches from the inside are out too. <laughs> yeah, our car is inside out now. And um, the inner seal is not very good over there. There's some rust and there are holes. 
They might be, they might be patched, but the thing is, uh, if I want to change the floor, I have to take the inertia out. Yeah, it's, it's overlapping the floor, so I have to take it out. And this is even better because I'm going to be able to check on the strengthener piece inside and make sure it is good. And uh, this way I don't need to take out the outer seal. I don't think so yet because uh, if it is in a good shape, we're just going to keep it in place for strength. Okay, so when we take out the inner seal, when we have to put it back on, we will decide whether we want to put this one on or we want to put a new one that we have. And uh, some people ask if I'm going to make floors. Well, I'm not so brave yet. I'm not going to make the floors. We have new floors for here. So we're going to install the new floors. So let's make a game plan for what else we're going to do. All right, game plan. So, like I said, we have a new piece for here. And since we have a new piece, why don't we change everything? Why would we cut pieces and replace only pieces? It doesn't make sense, right? The bottom part here is overlapping the inner seal and we want to take the inner seal out. So we have to take this out anyways. So let's take this out. That's going to give us also more access to reach and replace and repair this because this will need to repair. Maybe we should repair first this area before we take this out. Yeah, maybe that's a better idea. Repair this and this all the way to here because here there must be a flange, right? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm happy that this is solid because on the other side it's not. So for there we'll see how we're gonna replace that. But here this is solid and uh, it survived the needle scaling which means it is perfect. Yeah, this requires some attention too. So we might cut a piece out and repair because there is another panel inside that needs attention well the more we open the more we're gonna find i'm sure all right so i cut this out but because now we don't have support down there and after i cut this down now this piece is going up and down wherever it wants so kj had this idea to put this brace here and we positioned it where it's supposed to be with the old piece and, and I made this out of the test piece of sheet metal and now we can weld it in. The only problem is I made this gap a little bit too big so now I have to fill it up and my sheet metal was not big enough to go all the way to here where I wanted so now I'm gonna have to replace another piece here but anyways I want to get rid of these two holes if they are not supposed to be there and uh, here the sheet metal is not good so I'm gonna weld this and I'm gonna weld here and then we're gonna replace another piece here okay and in the meantime KJ because he's not busy again he can work on the windshield frame he's gonna strip it he's gonna take the trim out he's gonna take the vinyl out and everything and then with the needle scaler he's gonna go all over the place to make sure there are no holes or anything or if they are we're gonna have to fix them here this looks like surface rust but we never know maybe there is a hole somewhere here so with the needle scaler we're gonna find out all right this is installed now of course we have to go down and continue the repair all the way to here and we have to still repair this area but so far so good huh? Side, 
We have two more frames up there. I'm 100% sure that they're both busted in the same side, the left side. We will check, but I'm 100% sure that they are rusted in the same area. All right, get it, keep going. Not good, not good. Okay, so we just opened another hole here and we made another patch to close it. <laughs> Let's weld it. Only one hole for plug weld because this is a little bit of uh, wide this gap so that's gonna be like a plug weld here and another one here so just one in the middle is gonna be enough all right so this is welded we're gonna grind it later it's, it's crowded here now and i don't want to throw sparks all over the place and now it's time to open another window somewhere i think this is next i'm just debating whether i should uh, support this in some way but it is hanging over there on the frame so there's no way, it cannot go anywhere. I'm gonna cut this out. This other one fits pretty well in the same place, so that's gonna give us the, the position of everything else. So I'm not worried of uh, losing the geometry here. I'm just gonna cut it out. So I cleaned all the flanges from the old panel here, took out this one too, and now we can repair this deck because it has a hole here, so it has, it has to be extended all the way till the end of this flange, and this has to be extended to this flange, this like we said needs to be repaired, then we're gonna jump here on this corner, we're gonna repair this piece inside, of course we're gonna cut it here. Then we're gonna repair this piece inside, we're gonna repair this piece, we're gonna repair the bottom of the A post. Oh, and we have to remove the inner seal, and then we can install this panel if we want to. We will see. We will not make too many plans, just one step at a time. So I trimmed this here and I made this complicated, very really complicated part. After we weld this one, I'm gonna make another one for here. Okay, this is uh, extended now. So now we have to do, uh, so now we have to extend the other side as well. And I made this part to go here, like that. So KJ is cleaning the fenders inside while wheeling them and he found this sticker here which says August 84 the car is 74 so so for sure these were new fenders installed on this car good job KJ he's done with the windshield frame and the two bad areas are here and here as usual on the frame so the frame will need some work too but we will get there and I'm done with this patch as well. I'm not gonna grind it deeper than that. I said that many times. I don't care about this side. I care about the inside. And inside, it looks like that. It's not bad. Of course, it's gonna need some body work, but it is fine. That little hole in the corner over there, that's gonna be covered. I'm gonna show you what, how. That's this hole here. So now I'm gonna do a patch here and then I think we're gonna cut this off completely, this panel. We're gonna cut it off completely and we're gonna replace it. And I know it has uh, those uh, pressings here and we're gonna make them. And I have another way of making those now. So I'm gonna show you a little bit later. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna leave this alone for now because when I'm replacing this panel, then I can finish this. But I can do this now here 
There, this is uh, where Chef Dash had issues with his uh, 250 and I have the same issue here because it's a pretty complex patch here a mm, couple of uh, sheet metal layers are overlaying each other so I think I'm gonna deal with this now let me first cut off whatever I don't need so we can start building it up So here, there, I don't know if you see, I remember from Chef Tash's videos, there are one, two, three layers of metal here. And uh, the furthest one at the back has a flange. Let me bring you this side. This middle, the, the layer in the middle, is actually the layer that creates the scuttle panel inside because you know inside you have a scuttle panel or whatever it was called the last layer this layer is the one that has to come all the way here and create a flange and connect to this flange which is rotten here you see so from here this and this are one piece or not no, actually, this layer comes here and ends here. This layer is the one that comes with the flange and goes up there. You know what, I'll strip it a little bit more and then you will understand it. Actually, I discovered there are even four layers here. It is this one, the top layer, then another one that ends here, then another one that ends here, and then the deck. So it is really complicated, but you know what? I think I'm gonna cut it a little bit further and I'm gonna start extending them one by one. You know what, guys? All these layers, I'm gonna consider them one. I'm gonna weld one piece of metal to them. I'm gonna make one patch for here. I'm sorry, it's not gonna be very original, but but it is crazy. If I start building it the way it was built, it's gonna take forever. We don't care about originality here, right? Yeah, I hear you. Thank you. Okay, and to make it even more complicated for you, I give you a different perspective now. But I believe you're gonna see better from this perspective. Yeah, so I made three patches. Liar, liar, pants and on actually, fire. Okay, okay. To be honest, I made four, but one didn't work. So this is my first one, which I'm gonna weld like that. And I'm gonna leave a step here. I'm gonna actually weld it from inside. I'm gonna just weld it here. And then the rest, this vertical line, I'm gonna weld from inside. So I can leave a step here for the next patch, which is gonna be this one. It's gonna come here like that. And this one I have no choice but I have to weld on this side, but here I can grind it nicely. And then I have this one, which is the wrong one. <laughs> I made it shorter, so I have to make the fourth one, which comes here like that. So I think that's gonna work. And I just wanted to show you before I start welding them, and now I'm gonna give you views from the different stages. The first patch is in. Well, it's from inside. You want to see inside? Okay. Okay. That's inside. Down there in the corner. Not even gonna grind it here. Not that I can, but it doesn't even matter. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Okay. The second one is in as well. The third one we're gonna skip because it was wrong. And we're gonna weld the fourth one now. And voila. The last patch is in. What do you think? Oh, it's still warm. Hmm? Not bad. So this whole area now is completed. Oh, I still have to do two plug welds here. I have to cover this hole and I have to replace this part of the flange because this is rotten too. And then we will be 
complete it with the top area and then we're gonna go down and the inside it doesn't look bad I think we managed to keep that half moon shape here and uh, yeah there are some pinholes okay <laughs> I see them now I see them I will take care of them later um, in the next video we're gonna start dealing with this panel and about the pressings or oh, you wanted to know what's the new method of making pressings who say bead roller? Huh? Yep, we have a bead roller now. We already had to make some improvements on it because it needed them. Believe me, it needed them. But actually I'm gonna post another video only about these improvements because the fact that a bead roller is cheap doesn't mean that it's low quality. It just needs a little improvement and it works fantastic. But for that in another video. Alright, so I think this is a good ending point for uh, this episode and in the next one we're gonna start dealing with the bead roller and with more interesting stuff, but for now I'm happy with our progress, right? It's a little bit different than what it was before. Nice and solid. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you later. Bye.